Hello students, today we are going to discuss a new topic of your class that is your linear inequalities. We all of we are familiar with the word equal or equal to means what both are equal means price of this pin is equal to price of this pin why this because somehow they belong to same category but suppose i said that no price of this pencil is less than price of this pen then this not give you the exact figure of price of this one or say but in case of equal to you have this exact figure of the solution so let's discuss what are inequalities before we discuss in inequalities we have to give discuss some symbols and once you are able to uh, find out that the meaning of each and every symbols then you are able to solve all the questions of inequalities you are able to understand not i'm going to say that you are able to solve but you are able to understand the question that what question asks from you now the first sign is this one suppose i am using one letter a other b these are variables so the sign is this one mean we are discussing about sign okay now let me write down the with blue ink so that you can easily write a b we are discussing about this about the sign so what does this symbol represent this symbol represents greater than this represent greater than i am talking only about this symbol this symbol represents greater than means what a is greater than b or a greater than b means symbol of this is greater than so price of this pen is greater than pe this pencil so it, you can easily understand then similarly we have other sign just opposite to this sign this means what this means your less than suppose i am using a b so what does this means this means less than this means less than then what does this means this means it says that price of this pencil is less than this pen clear price so a is less than b value of a is smaller than value of b then as you know equal to sign so i am not going to discuss about equal to sign then again i have all of you know about equal to sign i am not going to discuss about equal to it's me you know the meaning equal or equal to clear then if we combine these two then what happen then we have this symbol some some person write likewise some person write likewise clear yes so this means what this means this says that first greater than second this come from equal to sign so greater than equal to means what means the value of a is either greater than value of b or come to the lowest part it's less than it's sorry it's equal to b means value of a is greater than or equal to b this symbol represents this one this one represents this one in this case as you know that a is equals to b then 
just opposite to this one when we add this and this what we have we have less than or equal to it means what it means less than or equal to so if i say that a is value of a is less than or equal to b so in place of writing this long uh, sentence you must write down this smaller one clear these are the some symbols representation now we are going to discuss about linear inequalities inequalities means what we are not going to discuss about equal to we are not going to discuss this one equal to clear we are going to discuss about inequal in uh, sorry uh, this spelling is wrong it's a inequal inequalities clear the linear inequalities it's not an equalities some are some of you may confuse about how to write down the spelling some of uh, in my last few years career of teaching i observed that many students write down do such type of mistakes likewise even this time if you can consider that this time mistakes made by me but always i am pointing you your mistakes on board by make wantedly so that you can know how to remove the mistakes so come to the point that's a different thing linear inequalities in linear inequalities we use these signs to solve the questions generally we have very we start from the easiest one then we discuss good one for example so from this we start expression of inequality chapter topic from this question this question says that find out the value of x find out the value of x that are integers means value must be integer integer means what that uh, number of facts may be fraction and also satisfy the given inequalities so these are the key points of your question now i am choosing the very easiest question so inequality is given that x is greater than 1 first condition and second condition x is less than 4 so in this we have various answer not only single answer we have various values maybe values maybe one maybe no values are there maybe more than one values are there for each question so need not to confuse let's solve so what this means what that x is greater than 1 means this gives you the answer x is greater than 1 means what value must be it means what it means x it must be 1.1 1.2 2 3 4.5 likewise clear and again it says that value of x is less than 4 what does it means it means less than 4 means value of x is maybe it's a 3.9 maybe i am not going to discuss about integer in this particular question 4 3.9 3.8 or somehow it's a 3 2 1 0 0 maybe negative clear negative your 1 or negative 1.1 likewise so from this we conclude this part greater than one means all are positive number and from this we can conclude this part all are positive numbers but when we combine these two what we have we have the value of x in between 1 and 4 value of x in between means greater than 4 means what it's more than 1 but the value must be less than 4 also 
means the value must be in between 1. So when we combine these two, how we write this question? We use the variable at the mid the and this value is x is greater than what? Greater than 1 and less than what? It's x is less than 4. x is greater than this symbol represents greater than a this value x is greater than 1 or you can uh, read likewise as we discussed in the uh, symbols part 1 is less than x and x is less than 4 same thing is written over here uh, if we read from opposite side x is less than 1 sorry 1 is less than 1 x 1 is less than x and x is less than 4 or x is greater than 1, x is less than 4. So this, if you combine, we have this one. Means value is in between 1 and 4. Question says that this is the one part. This is your one part. Now second part says that integer and satisfy. So for satisfaction we have now integer. Integer means what? The number may be positive, may be negative, may be 0. But not in fraction means not in decimal so what happened we in this case and in this case we have some significant figures in this case we have figures one two three four likewise in this case we have figure one four three two one zero minus one likewise but from the when you combine these two the figure says that no x is greater than 1 so from where we have this one x is greater than 1 we have this one x is less than 4 less than 4 means we have this one now from this we have upper limit with this we have lower limit when we combine which number is common in both this this one so these two numbers are common so therefore we can write x equals to 2 or 3 it may be 2 maybe 3 this is your solution so i hope you are able you are able to understand this concept this is only for your concept clarification now let's discuss one more question yes now this is this is your next question and then I we end up today's topic. So value of x that are integer. First integer. All numbers are whole. Maybe positive, maybe negative, maybe zero, but they are integers. Then satisfy the inequalities. As we know how we write solution. Uh, x is smaller than 4. It means what? It means x equals to smaller than 4 that is smaller than means not 4 it's 3 2 1 0 minus 1 and then for onward x is greater than minus 2 it means x equals to greater than minus 2 not if greater than minus 2 is there minus 2 is not included so from minus 2 we have greater my value minus 1 then 0 then 2 sorry it's a 1 it's a 2 3 4 and onward but it says that if we combine both the equation x comes at middle x value is smaller than 4 x value is smaller than 4 and x value is greater than minus 2 so we write greater than minus 2 what does this mean x value is greater than minus 2 x value is less than 4 so therefore value of x is or you can use like uh, language x is now check which one is common in this case common is your minus 1 common 0 1 2 3 up to 3 we have common so value is must the value of x values of x 
r it's a uh, starting from lowest minus 1 0 1 2 3 so this is your solution all of you now complete your exercise 7 7a all those there are only six question you will solve all the six question now i want to check that how many of you are observing the video complete and carefully so every day every time i try to give some task for you at the end of video you must go in comment part and do that task it may be anything maybe some easiest part maybe some toughest part must but you must do and every time what you do you must write down your name along with your task so today's task is what is today's common mistakes i told to you that this is a common mistake every time we are using in language and i hope all of you know the mistakes so along with your name like your name is this then along with your name write down your mistake not the complete linear inequation that is your only this one correct part only this one inequation no it's inequalities inequalities clear so that's all for today thank you